This is a short introduction to the ServiceNow interface. I'm going to cover how to access ServiceNow, how to navigate around ServiceNow, and a few of the viewing options that you have. So first of all, how to access. I'm using a web browser here. You can access ServiceNow with any modern web browser, including those on mobile devices. I'm using Firefox on a Macintosh right now. The URL for ServiceNow is umnprd.service-now.com. Do take note of that .com ending. So here is ServiceNow. I'm already logged in, and that's why it popped up. Typically, you will see the standard Internet ID login. On the right-hand side, this is kind of my working area. And since I'm in OIT, it's open to my OIT homepage, and it's showing me some pertinent information, a few separate lists. On the left-hand side, I have my navigation pane, which shows me all the content areas that I have access to. Your list might be different depending on your access levels. And across the top is a banner. Over on the far left is an area known as the edge. And this is very useful for doing things like dealing with your uh, screen real estate. It's nice to see that we're in IT service management and we've got the big university M. But at the top of the edge, I've got a couple buttons that help me um, maximize my workspace. The top right uh, takes me to the toggle banner, and so it closes off that um, banner space. So I've got a little more room. Top left will close off the navigation pane, and then I can just concentrate on my large work areas. I'm going to pop those back open again. So in the navigation pane, I can find um, all sorts of different content areas. The self-service is at the top. I'm going to pop on down into the knowledge portion of self-service. So that's the knowledge base from the public viewpoint. I'm going to scroll on down and go into the um, incident area. This is a list and we'll have another video that gives details about how to manage lists. But for now I'm going to take a look. My, um, I have no unassigned tickets in my view, in my work group so I'm going to go to all so I can see all of the tickets that are sitting around right now. And what I wanted to point out with this is how you can use the edge area to keep track of certain things. You can bookmark all sorts of things through here. So in this list I've got several incidents listed. If I click on a link for an incident it takes me into the actual incident. When I want to go back to the list, there's a back green arrow that will take me straight back where I was. And I can also, with the edge, the second button's in it, uh, toggle my workspace. And I'll use the toggle horizontal so I can see both the list and the tickets that I'm opening up. Okay, and I'll turn that toggle back off. Using this bookmark area, I can bookmark all sorts of things. I can bookmark items in the navigation pane. Let's say I frequently want to go into that open unassigned. I can just drag that link over into my bookmark area. And then I can quickly go back to my open unassigned, which of course opens as it did a minute ago with no tickets in it. I could also bookmark a specific ticket by dragging over the ticket number. So I want to make note, you can't bookmark from the actual ticket view. There's nothing in here to drag over to the bookmark area. You have to be in a list view. But you can bookmark any type of ticket, whether it's a change ticket, a problem ticket, um, a knowledge article that's in its edit mode. You can also bring over a knowledge article in its public mode. I'll go back to the public knowledge base and scroll on down to um, the password reset article here and just drag that over to the left. So any of these bookmarked items I can click on and they will open into my work area. Or I'm going to edit this particular one for the password reset into a flyout. And I'll update that. What this means is when I click on the button, the article or item will open in a flyout window and doesn't affect my work area behind. So anything I might want to refer to while I'm doing other stuff is a nice candidate for a flyout. There's more information about the edge in general and the bookmark feature in the top um, already bookmarked item. It's a little flyout that gives you a little more information about this area. But if you want more information about the interface in general and uh, customizing items in the edge, uh, go to the top maroon bar and on the far right is a help 
icon and if you click on that that takes you to the ServiceNow Worldwide Wiki and um, this is something that's been built by the ServiceNow community worldwide. That means, of course, that there might be items in here that are not applicable to our instance of ServiceNow. But it is very useful for things like um, how to use the interface. And I'm going to do a search up here just for bookmarks so that we can see that there's an article in here about dealing with the uh, new icons in the interface. And, um, and using those various elements. So I wanted to point that out as a resource. Thank you very much. That's the end of this video.